Hey there everybody and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to do a really brief overview of how to host a static website using the raw files which is basically just going to be a zipped folder. Now in this case I've actually hosted with uh, AppGyver which is a free builder where you can build web apps and mobile apps as long as you're making 10 million or less in revenue. You can check out their pricing page to learn more and you can check out my channel and the links in the description below to learn more about actually generating that zip folder from AppGyver. But the idea behind the static web hosting is if you're not pushing updates regularly, then you can just host those raw files and then you don't need to go through as much of the management process. So in this case, we're going to be using Hostinger. I have actually signed up for an account already, so I'll show you that in just a minute. But the idea is I'm just using the basic web hosting, but they do have a website builder if you're interested and a couple of other options as well. So I have the, I think the middle tier account. So I'll log in really quickly, and this is a web app called calculatingdiabetes.com that I have set up. If I click here, it'll take us to the website, and you'll see that we have what looks like an AppGyver web app that we can look into. So looking at this on the back end, all I've done is when you go to the file manager, we'll wait for it to load. And then the idea here is you're just going to upload your zip file contents so your public HTML, when you double click here, you'll see all of the contents are right here. Now, if you wanna look into this a little bit more, there is a file manager that you can use and you can look into the hosting here and you also have the option to do FTP accounts, but you can scroll through. There's actually an import website option as well. So you can provide a zip folder of your website. In this case, the one that AppGyver gives you, you can modify your finals and then upload your final here. So the idea is when AppGyver builds that zip folder, you make any final edits to those images and all of that. And then you can click choose a file and upload your zip folder. And then the cool thing about Hostinger is it will actually break all of that down for you. So the uh, basically the website that I had set up, you'll see the auto installer, we have the import website. When you use this option, it will automatically update all of the information for you. So if I were to go to this section here and go to file manager, when I uploaded that zip folder using the previous option I was just on, it automatically basically unzipped and brought in everything. So it when you upload the zip folder it'll automatically give you this public html and within this are all of the files from appgyver and that's literally all that there is to it your hosting or account when you're signing up it'll automatically have you set up your url you can set up emails and everything else you'll see your storage space here and you can actually connect different urls under one account and manage those separately as well if you're interested. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.